What is going on? Welcome on into another video. This video is uh, going to be a very short, quick one to help you guys with the buttons and the ones that are a little bit confusing. Um, all I ask in return is you guys like and subscribe and feel free to uh, let me know down in the comment sections if this stuff helps. There's going to be a lot more videos coming out with tips um, and the whole nine yards of the swing and everything going on. So let's get right on into it. Don't want to waste too much of your time. I'm going to remove myself from this window simply so that way you can see the buttons. Um, and let's just go through these real quick. So the first one I have obviously on PlayStation. So all of my buttons show as PlayStation buttons. But the first one is X. Uh, and that's how you address the ball. So if you're, you go from the standing position, that's how you address the ball. Um, right when you're getting ready to hit. The next one is going to be the, the magnifying glass, so that's triangle, and that's how you zoom in and zoom out so you can see closer to uh, where your actual target actually is. The next one is going to be reset, so if you move this thing around and you get lost in where you were and you want to go back to the pre-shot suggested, you can hit square and it tells you, it brings you all the way back to the beginning of where it's sent, so like I can go all the way. Texas wedge and then it will preset me back to what the pitch shot actually is um, next one up is your diagonal pad or the, the bullseye um, and that's just how you move left and right on all of your stuff uh, left right up back you want to move your meter you want to see how far the ball goes or how far the club goes not the ball um, and then don't forget you can always hit square to return back to, to the middle Next up is on mine, it is my left stick. Um, and that is how you fade the ball. So if you look in the top, uh, bottom right corner of the screen, it tells you exactly I'm moving it around. Low fade, low, low draw, draw, high draw, um, and the whole nine yards. And you just move that around. And then obviously the center is gonna be straight. And then the next one is for me is the pad, uh, but that is your whole overview. Um, not too much detail in the whole overview. I wish there was a little bit more, but you can see, um, obviously this is just a par three. The par fours and par fives will have a lot more detail, such as the 200 yard marker, 150, 100, front of the green, back of the green. Um, I wish there was more of a zoomed in of the, the green, but um, in, all, in all honesty, it's not too bad. And then you just hit your bottom left circle button to get back if you are on PlayStation or B button on Xbox, so on and so forth, whatever it is. Now, the second set, um, once you address the ball, so once I click the little golfer, which would be X for me, there's a whole new one that's set up. So let's go left to right again. Um, the first one is my right stick. I have it preset for right stick swings, so that is how you initiate your swing forward and backwards. All right, next up, like I said, circle would be back to return back to your address position. So if you're trying to switch clubs, you only can switch clubs in this. Once you address the ball, you cannot switch clubs. So if you're in this position and you need to switch a club because you realize you're on the wrong shot, you need to go back and you have to do it in here. Um, very similar to before, triangle is gonna be zoom in and then zoom out. And then the next one for me is R1, and that is how you change your camera angle. If you did not like the zoomed in behind, I wish there was a lower version of this camera, but unfortunately right now there isn't. Um, you would just hit R1, and it gives you multiple different options for something that you might like. And then same thing, D-pad still moves it left and right. Left stick still moves it left and right. High draw, high fade, high, high low draw, low fade and then a straight shot. And then the next one would be R3 for me, and that's how you practice swing. So if you wanna remove the ball and you wanna practice swing, you can practice swing and get your tempo, whatever you want. Uh, you can practice it right there. And then lastly, it's same thing, uh, whole overview there. So um, I hope this helps. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And at the end of the day, um, if you have any more questions, there's more videos to come. But in all honesty, just don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.